Now, uh, where are we? 6.43. The radioactive leaks from Japan's damaged Fukushima nuclear reactor have apparently started to contaminate water and food supplies in the surrounding area. The World Health Organization has called it a serious problem, though Japan's government is saying there's no major risk to human health. But what precautions should people be taking? Leila Hambeck is from the National Pharmacy Association. Very good morning to you, Leila. Uh, now, we're just getting more news of this uh, WHO report, the World Health Organization, looking at uh, the immediate surroundings and the possibility of, of, of some kind of contamination of food locally. But in terms of further afield, uh, talk of iodine tablets. W what is the situation with those and how can they be used effectively? Uh, well, the National Pharmacy Association has been receiving several calls from pharmacies with regards to uh, the potassium iodate and members of the public being worried, uh, contacting the pharmacies, wanting the supply. Um, well, it's, it's more or less people who want to travel to Asia, to, to China, to, to Japan, um, people who want to buy the tablets to supply to their families or, or uh, friends in, in Japan. Um, and people who are generally worried about the fact that uh, radiation might transfer from Japan to the UK. Um, what is important is that the um, Health Protection Agency has announced that at the moment there is no radiation risk in the UK, so there is no need to be worried about it at all. And the specifically, the, the, the use of those tablets, the iodine tablets, the, there are specific uses. I mean, it, it's to do the, the time from possible, yeah. uh, when you're poss possibly in contact or has some kind of yeah. contact with radiation. Yeah. Well, potassium iodide is used to, to block the thyroid from, um, from taking off the uh, radioactive iodine. And it needs to be taken as, as soon as possible within three hours of exposure. Um, so yes, it, it is effective when it's taken as soon as possible. But again, it's um, it, within the UK. It's, it's not necessary to take it because there is no risk of radiation at this point of time. But you're receiving a lot of calls mm -hmm. from people who think maybe it's appropriate or, or possibly don't know the restrictions or, or when it could be useful. Yeah, what we recommend um, people do is that if they are travelling to Asia, uh, they can contact the um, the British uh, foreign. Commonwealth Agency for further details because they keep their website up to date, they're following this. Um, and also uh, we're saying that there's no need to be worried about the radiation here in the UK and taking potassium iodide when it's unnecessary can cause um, unnecessary unwanted side effects, for example, um, diarrhea, for example, vomiting. And it's also contradicted in, in some um, um, situations where people have kidney problems or, or thyroid problems. So we're not recommending that people should be taking it when it's not necessary. Okay, Leila, thank you very much. Leila Hambeck is from the National Pharmacy Association. Thank you. Thank you.